Well, hello there, Blade fans, and welcome back for another Shield and Knife review. I did one uh, a few days earlier, and this one should drop a few days after that one. I had done something called the Trochadon, Trochadon, kind of a made-up name, I think, a Pokemon name. Anyway... <laughs> This one's got more of a standard animal name. This is the boa. And um, if you visit the website, um, shielden.net, and by the way, here is the very nice belt pouch. You can use as a storage or a belt pouch that the knife comes in. So your choice of using the clip or carrying it on your belt. Here is the box with the specs, upside down, of course. They are very well cataloged. When you go out there, uh, they show you lots of things about the knife. There's their slogan, make the cut with Sheldon, Shielden, Shielden.net. There's the URL. And again, this is the BOA. Designer is Django, and I haven't looked up Mr. Django yet. Let's see what's up with that. Could have an Instagram presence. I am not sure. These are a newer brand to me. They have done extensive OEM work, apparently, but I don't know for whom, going back to the late 90s. So who knows whose knives they've made. It is a Chinese company. So... Um, you can stop it right here if you don't go for that. That's fine. Um, that's been my disclaimer lately. But I am reviewing the knife for those that are interested. It is very well made. I would say maybe compared to the likes of other budget knives. Um, such as, uh, and I think this comes in around 60-ish or so, 60-65. So I consider it a budget knife. It's not over 100. Um, compared to maybe a Best Tech, uh, compared to maybe Civivi, um, you're probably not getting the same type of quality, the refinement. Uh, however, uh, by no means is this um, not a respectable knife. It runs on ceramic bearings. I did a little adjustment to the pivot. It's got a really nifty looking Tonto blade. I would call it a Tonto blade. You could call it a reverse Tonto, but it's Tonto in both directions. Um, they don't do the chisel grind, however. There's no differential in the grind there. It is a flat grind. It comes through the, the uh, out of the box sharp as can be. Let's, uh, why not? I was actually able to, on my tabletop, my table, fold a piece of paper, stand it up, and go right down the crease. Oh. Might have to do this again. There we go. Even the front here is quite sharp. So my paper cutting skills notwithstanding because of my awkward position behind the camera, it's a very sharp knife. At least I feel it's sharp. Um, can you get sharper? Sure, you can always get sharper. You know, have somebody like uh, Crazy Sharp, uh, Mike Emler or Jared Neves sharpen it up for you. And uh, it's always going to be sharper. For me, however, it is wicked sharp enough. <laughs> okay. So you see we have both a flipper tab and a thumb opening hole slot. And we're going to go over the specs real quick so I get those out of the way. I am at the Shielden website 
and they give you more information than you'd ever want to know. Um, the designer is Django, the name of the knife is Boa, blade material is D2, handle material is G10, HRC Rockwell hardness is 58 to 60, thickness is 3.5 millimeters, blade length is 3.82 inches or 97 millimeters, and the handle thickness is 0.569. Total length of the knife overall 8.74. It weighs 4.48 ounces. It's on a ball bearing ceramic bearing system. And uh, it's a tip up pocket carry, one side only, right side. Um, and it's a flipper in a hole opening and it is a gray titanium coating on the blade and as I mentioned the blade grind is flat so there you go we've got a long slot for the lanyard long slot for opening lots of blade thickness there on that what would you call it clip it's kind of a clip point tanto you do have the second edge there tanto style um, double t8s as I did you might need two t8s to adjust it you got a very nice variegated kind of uh, tricolor uh, what is it like a brown and a greenish gray and a black contoured handle it is kind of a high mounted clip they asked me for some suggestions they reached out to me uh, having seen a few Instagram photos I posted and I did mention I felt they should might that they might start looking at deep carry clips for their knives this is some very nice uh, millwork they did in here. It's got a texture to it. Here and all along here and back here. The clip looks strong enough. Very strong. I haven't carried it around much. But it does go in and out of the pocket pretty smoothly. Very thick steel liners. Substantial. And it is, uh, as the specs indicate, a large knife. Plenty there. Nice jimping there. You can lay your thumb all the way along the back Filipino style. And this would be great for tactical use as well as EDC. Got a long straight on the edge there. I do plan on uh, getting a few more of these in. Um, they're a very interesting company. Uh, price point is right. I think the highest uh, price I saw on Mountain White Mountain Knives for one of their models is the Damascus uh, Trochodon, which I've already reviewed. By now, by the time you're seeing this, it'll already have dropped. Wide open back with one, two pillars. So it should be relatively easy to disassemble, although I have not done that yet. High grind, high flat grind, and substantial thickness to the blade. Um, open and closing. Well, we've got to get past the detent ramp, don't we? I tried, and I can fail it but that doesn't mean that the detent is weak it's actually pretty strong because when you try using your thumb I couldn't spidey flick it just oh, there it goes spidey flick it with the flesh of the thumb and not the fingernail uh, but it does seem to be I mean it's not a weak detent but it is possible to fail it that could be the looseness of the pivot, could be a lot of things. The uh, way it's set up, I like it. Fine. Almost drop shutting. 
has an interesting kind of sing to it on the way out. Works well in the point down position. Nicer goes to the handle. Contour rounded surface on the handle again with these nice um, friction points that grab you just, just enough. And again, that gray titanium coating, that's interesting. If you go to their website, again, they'll break down every single model with more specs than I've seen on anybody else's knife. Here it is alongside the Griptilian. Griptilian is definitely a shorter knife overall. And let's compare it to the Rat 1. Should be pretty much, yeah, pretty much the same overall length and same blade length. It's maybe ever so slightly longer a blade being 382, I believe they said. So I'll include the specs in the video. You'll be able to see them down below. Uh, by now, you probably already have seen them. It's the way video editing works. But this is the Shielden, the symbol being the shield. If we can get it in focus. There we go. The Shielden Boa, designed by Django, and I've got to find out a little more about Django. If you know, go ahead and put it in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. More coming your way. This old sword, signing out.